Thanks so much, Heidi. Well, today I'm joined by Donnie Danford. He's the owner and head trainer of Hope Dog Training. And we're also joined by Onyx. Look how cute she is. Awesome. She's precious. Awesome. Down. <laughs> Down. Danny, tell me Down. a little bit about Hope Dog Training. Uh, Hope Dog Training, we just, uh, I, I love animals. Yeah. And I know there's a lot of people who love their dogs as well off Onyx. And so we, we started this just to help people enjoy their dogs more, have more of an understanding, building that relationship, and just having an understanding of how to train, how to, because training is not just about sit, stay down. Training is more yeah. about building a relationship. That's you very know? true. I mean, you you definitely, well, I hear, okay, mm -hmm. that it's important for the owner to actually be the quote unquote master for mm -hmm. the dog. Is there some truth in that? Yes, not necessarily master. It's just if you're the one giving the leadership, just like you and your kids. Mm -hmm. and a lot of times, uh, training dogs in so many areas is just like raising kids. You know, it's just a matter of they learn to trust you. They learn to trust your leadership. They learn to trust your judgment. Okay. And so it's the same thing with dogs. Um, if you don't have an understanding of how to communicate with them or how to lead them in a way that they understand, mm -hmm. then that's where you get blurred lines. And so it's our job to come in and teach you guys, just like in any relationship, how to communicate, you know, because proper communication builds a relationship. And so if you can understand what your dog is telling you and you have a way of understanding how to communicate with your dog, then, mm -hmm. then it becomes fun for everybody. Yeah. You know, it's not a burden for you to work with your dog. Your dog is not like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. It's all fun. You know, I, I, I'm big on enjoying my dogs. And, mm -hmm. and anytime you see me with my dogs, they're happy. They're all over the place, but we're still having fun. Well, that's what I, th that was honestly one of the first things I noticed about Onyx is she was so happy, go lucky. Mm -hmm. I mean, even though you were giving her commands and telling her different things that you wanted her to do, it was still in a loving way. Yes. Um, and you could tell that she appreciates that. Mm -hmm. And I love that you're talking about communication it's huge that the whole family yes. is on the same page yes. about this communication am I right uh, it is okay yes. so how do you guys come in and help those families get on that same page and learn how they can all communicate with the dog a big part of what we do for that is we have a lot of in-home training okay. so it's not just me telling you oh go home and try this go home and try that yeah I come to your house and I, I see how your setup is I see how your kids are interacting with your dogs and I make it a family affair so I'm not just saying hey this is what I need you to do with your dog mm -hmm. I'm bringing the kids and I'm making it fun with them and the husband and I'm like hey well this is what you can do and everybody becomes a part of the training yeah. so therefore everybody becomes the leader or the master and they learn to respect everybody so cool That's I cool. love this do what we have a few minutes left or a few seconds left can you show us a few things that you would do unexpected great girl get it get it she loves her frisbee spin <laughs> spin spin down heel heel go ahead through through Quick girl. Poor three. thing. This floor does Quick not help her. Break. <laughs> She's like, I can't move. But it, it's all about fun, having fun. Even minor things like having her pick things up, fetch, mm -hmm. out, out, good, fetch. Good girl. It's almost like she Get knows it. it's her responsibility. Uh-huh. And so even things like that, it, beca it we look at it as training, but I use this, we, we do park pickup where we go to a park and before we play fetch, I send my dogs out and I have them picking up trash and they bring it back to me and I throw in the trash. And so we're working, but to them it's all fun. It's just like, hey, let me do what my dad wants and we're going to have fun. Wow. But just cr making training a part of your life, it's not work anymore. Then it becomes fun for everybody. Well, I love that you are here and that you've shown us these things. Thank you for introducing Onyx to us and thank you for being here. Thank you guys for having me. Absolutely. You guys saw on the screen how to reach out to him, but they're also giving a 10% discount if you mention Trends and Friends. So give them a call, schedule your appointment, mention Trends and Friends, and you'll get 10% off. Donnie, thanks again. Thank you guys for having Onyx, me. Onyx, thank you. You're adorable. <laughs> we'll be right back.